Hey guys, Casey here, Detroit Rebuild Specialist. Back at you today with a new video. Um, today's gonna be a water pump replacement video. Very easy to do. Um, you can literally do this job in your driveway. Uh, so we're gonna jump right in and start telling you what you gotta do, all right? The tools you're gonna need for this job is gonna be a torque wrench when you're putting it back together, a scraper to scrape off the old uh, gasket material where the mounting surface is, a uh, either electric impact, you know, air impact, some kind of an impact or a, or a um, ratchet, 13 millimeter socket, buffing wheel, and a scotch brite pad. And some starting fluid to uh, clean your surface when you're ready for it. All right, so the first thing we're gonna wanna do here is drain our coolant, okay? You're gonna drain the coolant from this valve right here in the block. Every truck has one, okay? You're gonna to wanna to crack that loose. It's gonna take a 19 millimeter socket to crack that loose, and your coolant's just gonna drip into a pan, okay? We put a water hose on here, that way it drips into the pan without getting everywhere, but uh, if you don't have a water hose, it's fine. Just crack that loose, the water will drip down the block into your pan, okay? Once you get that done, tighten it back up, come around to the front side, okay? Now I know this engine's out of chassis, but I promise you it's just as easy in chassis as it is out. Um, we don't have a belt on this engine because we don't have an AC compressor and uh, an alternator on this engine, but I will do another video showing you how to get the belt off. But for purposes right now, the belt's already removed, okay? When you start this, you're gonna wanna loosen your pulley bolts before you pull your belt off, okay? The reason why is this pulley spins when there's no tension on it. If your belt was on here, it would hold tension you can loosen up these bolts. Don't take them out, just loosen them up, okay? So the first step is drain your coolant, loosen your pulley bolts, okay? Once they're loose, then you remove your belt, okay? Let me show you how to do that real quick, all right? See how it spins when you don't have a belt on there? I'm gonna hold it with my hand, and it'll come right out. You can see the pulley comes right off. All right. <clears throat> There's your water pump. Okay. So now, once you have your pulley off, now your water pump is wide open. Okay. All you're going to start doing is zipping these bolts out. Now, you, you're going to need to get another bucket. Or you're going to need to move this bucket up here to the front because when you bust this loose from your oil cooler module, coolant is going to come out. Even though you've drained your coolant, you're still going to have coolant loss come out of the front of this pump. Okay? So now we're going to zip these bolts off. Okay. Once you get all your bolts out, you want to get a little tiny pry bar, maybe a little hammer, and you're going to want to tap on it to get it off. I don't have a hammer on me handy, so I'm going to use the back of this um, scraper tool to, to pry this loose, okay? You can see how your gasket's still on here. All right, you got to scrape that off, but just pull it off. All right, and that's your water pump, guys. It's very, very simple, nothing to it. All right, now if you have a little bit newer truck, your water pump, you have a variable speed water pump. There's gonna be two electrical connectors on the bottom of this that you need to unplug. Other than that, they're the exact same. That's the only difference, okay? So once you get your pump off, now you need to scrape this old gasket off. It's very, very important to scrape this old gasket off. Okay, take a razor blade, whatever it takes to scrape it off. All right, now once you get all your old gasket off, you can use a piece of Scotch-Brite 
to get the remaining off, okay? You can hit it like this. Now, more than likely, it's not all gonna come off. Okay, I'm just gonna be truthful with you. But you have to get it off, okay? You see all that extra remnants on there? You either gotta use a razor blade, a very sharp scraper, or a buffing pad, a buffing wheel. Now, a lot of you are gonna say, yeah, but it voids the warranty if you're doing a buffing wheel. Well, if you're doing a water pump yourself, the vehicle's probably out of warranty anyhow. So, it doesn't matter. Um, buff it off. You're not gonna cause any damage. Hit it lightly. As you can see, it's nice and clean now. Okay, you're not trying to port and polish this bad boy, you're just trying to get the old gasket off of there. Alright. So once the gasket's off, take your new pump. This is the same pump that we had before and you're gonna reverse, you're gonna put it back on. Very simple, no calibration, no computer, you don't need anything for this job, okay? Put all your bolts back in it. These bolts will torque to 22 foot-pounds. Okay, so run them up by hand, nice and easy, okay? What's going on, fellas? Okay, once you get them run up, get your torque wrench out. I said 22 foot pounds. Right there. All right, all you do is go back and torque them. Simple as that. All right, so you torque them all. Now it's time to put the pulley on. Same thing with your pulley. Put your pulley back on, it doesn't matter where the bolt holes go, they're all the same. Let's get, them, get the holes lined up. Always get them all started before you tighten them up. Uh, and these torque to 22 foot pounds as well. Now it's kind of hard to do 22 foot pounds on this. Twenty two foot pounds is not much. I don't even know if I could hold it myself. The belt will help you out if you're in that situation. Yeah, you can't really hold 22 foot pounds, so either way, it's not much. Run them in, tighten them up. They're not going to go anywhere. There you go. Water pump's back on. Put your belt back on. Pump the coolant back in it. Bam, you just knocked out a water pump. You can do it in an hour in your driveway. Very easy. Very simple. Um, like I said, I'll post the link, the video, to do how to put on the belt on and off. And uh, like I said, if you got any questions, give us a call. Uh, leave a comment if you want us to do a, um, a repair, you know, a tutorial video. And we'll just keep them coming. Thanks, guys. Detroit Rebuild Specialist out.